Hey y'all, I'm Jordan. I'm a 23 year old, almost two years post-grad, who's been living in Mexico City for about a year now, documenting my journey of navigating and building a life abroad. And it's been a great experience so far, but I hit a point in my journey where I let my doubts and worries keep me from being present and just enjoying it. And I wanna rediscover that excitement I had when I first got here. So I'm starting this series to continue documenting the real experience of living abroad, but also to capture the beautiful things and opportunities that Mexico City has to offer. So join me as I get back out there and explore different places, connect with other foreigners, track my weekly spending as a girl on a budget, give y'all some Mexico City how-tos, and continue to bring y'all in on what I'm learning and how I'm feeling along the way. So welcome to my Mexico City Diaries. Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to Jordy's Journey. We are back in Mexico City, and I really wanted to switch up the format a little bit of my Mexico City videos. Um, I just got accepted into a documentary field program in London, and so I think it would be really cool to start getting a little bit of practice by making this kind of like a docu-series. So I'm gonna be like doing these, talking through kind of like my week and how I was feeling, what I did, all that stuff, documentary style. So I can kind of just learn how to do that a little bit. So here is the first one of that and I'm really excited about it actually. So yeah, let, let's get into the video. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the start of this week's vlog. We are finally posting in real time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I am back in Ciudad de Mexico and this week is art week. And so I'm still trying to navigate like how, nar how art week works here, but essentially it's like, you know, artists and everything who do different things so like paintings uh sculptures whatever they hold like these shows to showcase their art so there's a bunch of those going around the city the problem is that like there's no specific place to like figure out events and stuff you kind of just have to i don't know find things and then go to them there's no like one central location where you can go and see all the things that are going on so I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure all of that out, but today's, what's today? Today's Monday, so it's the start of it. Um, but yeah, I am about to go to the first little thing. It took me a little while to get here, like 40 something minutes, but I am about to go in and I'm gonna show you guys the first little event we go into. All right, so this was my first week back in Ciudad de Mexico, and I was really just focused on making sure that I was starting off on a good note when I left Mexico City about like two months ago, I wasn't like in the best space. I was kind of struggling a little bit with being here and just figuring out why I was still here and wanting to stay here, but not understanding why I want to stay here and not knowing where else to go and this whole thing. And so coming back, I, I've i noticed that I am refreshed. I am excited to be here. And I really wanted to try to keep that momentum and just like start on that momentum you know of just like being excited to be here and so that was my focus of this week and thankfully it was art week this week and so it was a perfect week to be back and to really like try to get back in the swing of things and get out into the city and all of that stuff so it worked out perfectly I got a chance to go to different events meet some new people get around the city so it was a great way to just transition back into things What's your name? 
Hey, I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you, where are you from? Uh, New York. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I've been here for a while, maybe longer. How long have you been here so far? Until January. Or since Oh, January. you got here in January. Yeah, okay. I got here. So this this place this place just basically lets people rent out different studios and just like work. Yeah, basically. Okay, cool. They, uh, the the owner is some sort of like uh, he's in real estate. He's American as well. He just uh, got this place mm -hmm. and had the great idea of turning it into an artist studio. So yeah. how long have you been painting? I went to school for it. Show in 2022. Okay. When I graduated, it was, I was like working for an artist and then the pandemic hit. Okay, yeah. And um, then after, I, yeah, I got my first solo and I've been, it's been my job ever, ever since. That's really cool. So, do you guys sell your work out of the studio or you kind of just have to do um, that outside? I, I don't. Um, like the piece that's downstairs is just for they're just for like do you wanna do you wanna show it? I'm yeah. Sure. Um, I be, and it's mostly because I'm on such harsh deadlines all the time, so everything that I make has to go to the gallery for whatever uh, that I show. Okay. Yeah, I only have the luxury of like. But it gets sold at the gallery. That's how it goes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. They, I'm not a business person. So, yeah. <laughs> so you let them that. handle all that and you yeah, just exactly. curate. That's cool. I can just sit here and do my thing. Yeah. <laughs> so something really interesting that happened at this event, this girl came up to me and she saw me recording the artist who was painting. I was just talking to her and asking her a couple of questions and recording them. After I was done doing that, this girl came up to me and she was like, hey, I really just wanted to like say hey and, and say that I think it was really cool that you were interviewing her and just trying to capture her story because that's something that I am really interested in and something that I really want to get into doing. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. And I really appreciated her for coming up and saying that to me because sometimes like when you're the person who's doing something, you don't really look at it the same way other people may think. And so to me, I was like, I was really just holding my camera there and talking to her and whatever. But to her, she was like, that's really cool. That's something I want to start doing. And I'd love to see that you're doing it. And so I don't know, that was a really cool moment. And it really just encouraged me and made me more excited to dive into doing more of that stuff while I am back. I love like all the colors and stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice to go see. Yeah. How long have you been here? Three months. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And where are you from? UK. Oh. Yeah. Where, where are you from? I'm from the States. I'm from North Carolina. Sick. Yeah. Oh, and so many American people here. Like, yeah, a lot. I mean, especially now because it's so cold there, right? And yeah, I know. Coming, coming here, come here so it's easy. like, oh, it's amazing. And what is it? Like, four hours, five hours oh. flight? Yeah, very so like, My flight was four hours, so yeah. 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 What brought you here? Have you been here before? Uh, no, it was my first time. I was doing a residency with a gallery and mm -hmm. um, made all the work there. Okay. It's a Joss gallery. And then I, yeah, and I was doing that for the whole of December. Mm -hmm. Traveled a bit, came back and showing the work here. Oh, nice. And I leave next Monday. Oh. This is kind of crazy. Yeah. So I've got a, yeah. And then I'll show this collection in, the, in London. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah.
right, so that one was a success. It was kind of cool. It was basically just like this guy, he bought this building and he decided he was going to rent it out for um, artists to work and just like make it their studio. And so what today was, it's like basically just let people come in and go to the different studios and talk to the artists and look at their work. And then they also had like, um, someone cooking on the rooftop and so like at, on the rooftop they had like a little social area where everybody was like eating and talking and stuff so that one was really cool and it was free and so now I'm about to go to another one that I think just opened and so again I don't I never I don't really know what <laughs> these things are like what to expect when I go in so I really don't know what it is but we shall see Welcome to day two of the art week of vlog. Um, let's see, yesterday was pretty good. I ended up, last night I ended up going to this event where like there was like this up and coming singer performing. So that was really cool. I found out about that last minute. So I went to that and today I am, what am I doing? Today I'm going to something else a little bit later but i'm also going to the park because i need to film a video that i'm putting out um just like a little sit down video so i'm going to go do that and yeah but right now i'm going to this place called esperanza it's like a um panaderia it just has like uh, like bakery goods and stuff so i'm going there and i'm also one thing i'm about to start doing on this channel is tracking how much i spend for my benefit and yours, I am, I don't, I don't like this to call myself broke, but I am low on funds. And so it's going to be helpful for me to like track how much I spend. And also I want to like help y'all figure out like what you can expect to spend if you're like trying to like come here and like live on a budget. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, so at the end of the video, <clears throat> I will total how much I spend and like show y'all along the way like as I buy stuff so I'll show y'all how much I spend in this in Esperanza and yeah it's gonna be a little new thing that I'm doing so yeah I'm about to go to Esperanza then I'm gonna go home for a little bit go to the park and then probably go back home and then go back out because like the events for today are like later in the evening so take y'all along $27.50 in there, which is like about four things, and that's like a dollar fifty. So I'll add that to my little tally. Alright, hi guys. Alright, so I'm about to track how much I've spent so far this week before I leave out. And let me see, today's Tuesday, but I'm just gonna count when I got back, and I got back on Saturday. So we're just gonna look at that. So I spent, okay, so on my credit card, I spent $17.47, and I got $45 out in pesos, 
the other day. And so, so far with the pesos, I have spent, let me see. I spent 220 at the Mercado and 50 on my, to put on my transportation card. And I just spent 27.50 at, bad where? At, um, dang, where'd I go? At Esperanza. So, so, so that's 297.5 pesos. So let me just convert that. So in pesos, I spent 297.5 pesos, which is $17.44. Plus my credit card, which was $17.47. So, so far this week, I have spent $34.91, which is not bad. That's not bad because really what I, all that was like for groceries and just like transportation. I haven't like bought anything else and I haven't spent money to go to any like art week events so far. And I'm not really planning to spend too much money on that. So that's what we're at right now. I will keep y'all updated as the week goes. Hopefully it doesn't go too much over that. <laughs> it probably will. But I honestly, we're gonna like create a budget too because I wanna make a budget for like how much I kinda wanna spend every week. So I'm gonna see how much I spend this week on like doing the bare minimum and then just kinda like make a budget around what I feel like is realistic for a weekly budget. So. There we go. Now we're about to go to the park. I'm about to go film a video in a Bosque de Chapultepec. And yeah, I'm also, I wanted to check out this like bookstore that they have there. So I'm probably gonna go somewhere around there and then like take y'all to look at the bookstore and everything too. So that's what's on the agenda. I will see y'all there. So I was on the bus the other day and I don't know, I, was, I wasn't listening to music or anything. I was really just like thinking. And I think my phrase for this year is gonna be, girl, just do it. Because one thing that I've learned about myself this past year of, I don't know, traveling, creating content, trying to just figure out my path is that I overthink things to the point of like not doing it. <laughs> like I just sometimes get so overwhelmed or I think about all that I like, I need to do it the way that I want to do it, or I don't know. I just overthink things to the point of not doing it. And I really need to get out of that. Nothing is ever going to be perfect for me to start things. Nothing, I'm not going to be perfect when I start something. And I also got to get out of my head about like thinking about what people may think with what I'm doing or creating or whatever. And so my motto for this year is girl, just do it. Because, so, one thing that I just did this week is I want to start doing, I want to start doing sit down videos here just to like provide a little bit more value for people who are watching my videos and maybe want to be interested in coming to Mexico City. I feel like I've been here long enough to where now I can like sit down and talk about different topics or whatever that I've learned since being here. And so, that's something I said I wanted to do. And even though I really didn't have the space to do it because I don't really have much space in my apartment typically. And so I didn't, I didn't have, I don't know, a cool place to do it or like a cool background or whatever. But I was like, Jordan, just do it. Because if I think about all these things that like I don't have to do it, then I'm never going to do it. And so this week, one day I picked a day, I went to the park, found a spot. It wasn't the best spot for a sit down video, but lesson learned and I filmed the video. Okay, hi guys. I am in the park and I just filmed a sit down video that I am doing. I'm starting to try to do like one sit down video a week where I just talk about something Mexico related or travel related or navigating early 20s related. 
something like that and so I just got done filming a video for that and it was really weird because I usually don't film and talk in public but I want to like start including more of like Mexico City environment into my videos and so I think it's good to like try to get over my fear it's not really a fear but it's just like I feel awkward because people look sometimes people like laugh and it feels weird <laughs> but I don't know regardless like I'm in a city and so like people always see people doing stuff and like they'll see it they'll have a thought about it for like a second and then they'll go on with their day and so I'm trying to practice just like not caring Bienvenidos a Día 3 de La Semana de Arte. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Um, welcome to Day 3. I... What's going on? Okay, so yesterday, I did not make it back out. I went to the park, and going to the park is a whole mission. It took me, like, an hour to get there on the bus. And then once I got to the park, Bosque de Japotepec is big. It's like one of the biggest parks. And so I had to go find a place to actually go set up and then film and then go back on the bus for another hour. And oh my gosh, I don't have my mic. Ah, okay, hold on. I'm gonna get my mic, one sec. Okay, we're mic'd up now. Um, but yeah, and then I had to take an hour bus ride back to back home. And then like I ate and stuff and I was just like, I don't feel like going back out and so I didn't go to the art week events for last night so nothing happened yesterday right no art week events yesterday but today I am going back out I am going to um this black artist has like a new exhibit I think that just opened up today and so I'm about to go do that and I am meeting up with this girl I actually found on YouTube um she just got to Mexico. She got to Mexico when I left. I'm trying to like fix the light. She got to Mexico like during my time back home, but I saw one of her videos and so like I sent her a message and we connected. And so we're going to meet up at the exhibit. Her name is Olivia. So that should be cool. I'm really excited about that. I don't think, I'm trying to think, but I don't think I've met any other YouTubers. Maybe in passing, but like I've never like really hung out with any other YouTubers. So I think that would be cool. So I'm excited to meet her and like hang out with her. Um, so yeah, we're going to one place and then we might go somewhere else, but I have to be back home by nine o'clock because we're having like family time with my roommates. So I'll be back at nine. So like depending on how things go, we might go somewhere else, but we are for sure going to that one exhibit. So I will take y'all along and yeah, it's day three. So this day was probably one of the my favorite days of this week for a couple reasons. One, I got to meet up, well no, one, the exhibit I went to, the gallery I went to was so cool. It was by a black artist and they finger painted and it was just really cool. I went in there, the space was super nice and since it was a black exhibit, you know, like black people are always gonna like show up for, you know, black stuff, you know? So like, it was just cool being in the space and like seeing a bunch of black, black people come and just support a black artist. I think that was really cool. But secondly, I got to meet Olivia, who is another YouTuber that I found here. I will put her information somewhere around here, but it was just really cool. This, this was my first time since deciding to move here and start the YouTube channel. This was my first time actually meeting somebody who did something similar. <laughs> she quit her job and decided to move to Mexico City for three months and then she's gonna be traveling after that. And she started up her YouTube channel when she came here. And so it was really cool and refreshing to just be able to talk to somebody who kind of gets it. 
I feel like sometimes I don't know how to explain this desire I have to people and I don't know it was cool to be talking with somebody who is also trying to navigate like do we want to care about numbers or do we want to just care about creating and documenting this experience do we want to how are we like navigating you know saving and budgeting and not really um having income coming in but like wanting to um to travel and like do it on a budget how are we meeting people how how did our families feel about coming to mexico just like all these different topics that not everybody is really gonna fully understand or like you i'm not really able to fully engage in those topics with everybody because everybody just doesn't get it and so it was really nice to just finally like connect with the youtuber i really should have done this a while ago but the idea just dawned on me when i was back home and posting videos i saw her video and another girl's video pop up on my suggested and i was like huh they're in mexico city like i should like reach out to them and so that's how that came about and so yeah it's just really cool and i'm grateful that i was able to at least find two youtubers who are here to connect with i think that's gonna really just help me on this journey i am <laughs> while i'm here so that was a really cool day hi you guys um what day are we on i know i didn't do anything yesterday what did i end up doing yesterday oh i had my bible talk and then i kind of just like edited yesterday i didn't go anywhere because yeah i guess like my, my day kind of like started off a little wrong so i didn't end up doing any arguments yesterday but um today today's friday and i am about to go to two different things one actually i don't know we'll just see how it is when we get there one of them i think is like some sort of exhibition but i really don't know how it's gonna be the other one also don't know how it's gonna be but they seemed cool like going off of the flyer and then i've also seen some people go to the first place that i'm about to go to and it looks pretty cool from like pictures and videos and so i'm about to go check that place out and yeah that's pretty much it um the other day with um, Olivia, the girl that I met up with, was really cool. It was really fun. It was fun to just like meet up with another YouTuber and like talk to somebody who like is in like a similar space as me when it comes to like creating content or like just like living off of savings and like stuff like that. So that's been that was really cool. And the exhibit that we went to was like really, really good. It was by a black artist and they did, they had a bunch of like fin finger paintings of um, just like different black individuals. And that one was a really good one and my favorite so far. And I feel like it's probably gonna remain my favorite, but we'll see. So that was really cool. Plus it's like whenever black stuff goes on, all the black people show up to that. And so it was cool to just like see and meet different black people here in Mexico City. So that was really fun. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to pop in, say that. And I'm about to go to the first place. So let's go. I'm ready. Okay, 
so this night I went I decided to go to this one event in Centro and oh my gosh I really should have recorded this but the journey there I took the metro suggestion tip do not take the metro if you're going somewhere in the evening like the event started at 6 I probably left my apartment around 6 15 ish and I did not get there until close to 8 because of how crazy the metro is and I I knew this but for some reason the metro would have been faster than the bus but anyways it took me forever to get there but I finally got there and I was standing outside and just trying to like get myself together before I went into the event and then this girl came up to me and she was like hey I'm so and so um are you like and she was talking to me like we had made plans to meet up <laughs> and I was like hey I'm Jordan but I don't know what and I guess she came here with she's a part of a group and so like a couple people from the group said they were going to meet up here and so she thought I was a part of the group because it was a black woman group and I was like hey I'm Jordan um I don't know what group you're talking about but <laughs> it works out perfectly because I came by myself so nice to meet you and so that was that was a cool coincidence I ended up connecting with her and a couple of other girls from the group and we um just kind of like hung out in the space it wasn't it was a art exhibit but it was also just like a really big i don't know a really cool space and environment to just kind of like talk and meet people so that was really cool and this night i met this girl who she is a fashion designer she's from mexico city and she makes these like adjustable clothes i'm gonna put her instagram in here but that was also really cool and I was like wow like I've never met a fashion designer before she's a fashion designer and she is also a stylist so I met her one of her closest friends who's a artist he's like a musician and so she styles him and I was like whoa that's so cool so that really inspired me too because I want to start like connecting with people who do cool stuff and including that here on my channel and so that was really exciting and cool to meet her it was a nice event with a lot of really cool people. Oh my guys. <laughs> Alright, so I like had this is uh this is so cool. Okay, so I have like some extra room today. I am my roommates are like kind of switching and so my roommate that I had is moving out and I have another roommate moving in today and so yesterday she moved out her bed. I'll have to like show you guys that in a second but yesterday she moved out her bed and I had like all this space in the room and I'm like, whoa, <clears throat> I got to record some videos because this is like good lighting, good like positioning and all that stuff. And so I just got done recording a couple things that y'all will see at some point. But yeah, it just made me really excited. I, that was a super productive moment. I just knocked out two different videos. And so I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. What day are we on? We are on, what day is it? Today's Saturday, so we're at the end. We're getting towards the end of Art Week. Womp womp. But it's been a cool week. Today should be pretty cool. I'm actually going back to the museum that I went to with Olivia with like the black artists. But this time I'm doing a tour with a group of other girls that I don't know. But one of the girls I found on YouTube, her name is Tulu. And so she's been in Mexico for I don't know how long maybe she got here after I left for like holidays and stuff but yeah her name is Tulu she is also here on YouTube and so I will share oops and so I will share her information somewhere but yeah I'm gonna go meet up with her and then she has a couple friends going and so even though I went to the museum already it'll be cool to like get a tour of it and like hear a little bit more of the background so that's the plans for Saturday we're almost at the end guys so yeah See you guys later. Um, and then just like since coming to Mexico City, I was just like, I want to just start documenting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Waka told me uh, earlier when that you will be visiting. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It will take years and some people will never get that. But he he was very blessed to to find that little thing that makes him so different 
and 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 his work suddenly inspired a new generation of artists where everything became possible. The idea of connecting and having like this huge black consciousness of saying that we are now connected to each other and we are going to celebrate one another and we're going to support one another and we're going to buy from one another and build that ecosystem. And I think there's a lot of artists and a lot of uh, people who came in and their entourage and their family were very supportive of these artists with the talent saying, if you made it, you can also make it, you can do it. Because often the parents, they are very, very scared about artists going into this artistic, <laughs> they think they're going to end up drug, addict. <laughs> so they're like, no, it's okay, you can go to school, you can make a living, you can, and that's what he kind of liberated and opened. So like I mentioned before, I'm really new to the whole art creative scene, but one thing I really got out of Art Week was just like the inspiration that comes from being around other artists and creatives. I think that sometimes you can get in your own head about like what path you want to take or what opportunity to take or whatever, but I think what Art Week has shown me is that you just have to like cre continue to create what speaks to you and then find opportunities to get your work out there or to work up under somebody and learn from them or just like try something and see how it goes even if it's like temporary but regardless of what stage the artist was everybody was moving confidently by just presenting their work at art week or performing at art week and who knows like what opportunities came from that there's so many people who came into mexico city just for art week the owner of the gallery, she was speaking about the artist and how he had been working for a while in this space. And and now after doing it for years, he's starting to get all these opportunities to work with Dior and like big brands and like finally get recognized. And I think it's a good reminder to just put yourself out there at whatever stage you're at. And so I really enjoyed this tour in particular, because I, we got to hear from the owner of the gallery and she was just talking about the whole process that the artist went through and then went on to talk about just the different opportunities that exist within the art space. And it was, I don't know, it was just really inspirational. So she learned how to swim, to do her cereal underwater. That is currently oh, on, 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 to dive, not to swim, to dive. Oh, wow. Professional, she now has a license of professional diving. Oh, and she is currently at the Smithsonian. Yes. Being a gallerist is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. There's so many other things mm -hmm. that you can do. You can yes. be a curator, you can be you can start a, a PR agency in the art world. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, you can start a lot of uh, you can be a, I mean yes. an art installer, you'll be the richest person. Because right. you an right. art shipper. All day, right. An art shipper. So I don't see much so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. no, these guys were the chargers and the crates and everything. Yeah. And it's it's insane. Insane. Down to the, so yeah. whoever, you know, because we think only this process. Yes. But there is so many other things. Mm -hmm. There is, right. you know, legal in art mm -hmm. and copyright. Mm -hmm. Um uh, there's so much mm -hmm. around the art business. That's why it is something it is a, a, a a field that has a lot of opacity when they don't want you to come in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you know it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but there is a lot of diversification mm -hmm. and, and, you know, writers and yeah. so much. Oh, yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hi, you guys. We just finished at the um, gallery. It was really cool. Now we're at Casa de Tonio, which is a very popular place in Mexico City. It's basically like fast food in Mexico, but it's really good. So, we have some newcomers for the Casa de Tonio. We all pretty much got, let me see, I got enchiladas, you got enchiladas, and then you guys got flautas. Different variations of Mexican food. We're gonna do quick introductions. What's your name? Hi, I'm Tulu. You wanna plug your channel? Oh, um, Tulu Travels, we're on YouTube. Another YouTuber. Alright, what's your name? Hi, my model, my name is Maria Isabel. <laughs> Lastly, my YouTube is Erica's World. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Okay. 
And you can like reserve this too. Uh -huh. You can have a full blown party up here. Party here. This is like barbecues back there. You can have like a, a graduation. So it's not even an apartment. It's not an apartment. It's not. Okay, for all the people with nut allergies, when you come to Mexico, make sure you ask. So they will throw peanuts on wings <laughs> just for fun because it makes no sense. They look very good though. And then, I guess this is just a restaurant thing because why are there fruit loops? It's trying to be different. Fruit loops and peanuts. That's the thing. <laughs> so all in all week one of being back was really great i got a chance to i really felt like i was a girl on a mission this week and i felt like i had a little bit of structure i had a routine i had a schedule and i accomplished what i said i was going to accomplish i said before I came back, I was gonna do RV content, I was gonna film a sit down, I was gonna film some clips for TikTok, and I did all of that. And so I'm very proud of myself. And I am happy that week one started off on as great of a note as it did. It really inspired me to continue to get out there, continue to meet people, and just continue to document in new ways and also just in ways that really speak to me and that I hope will speak to you all as well so there are two projects that there's one project that I actually thought of doing this week and so I'll share that with you guys later once I kind of think about it but there's just another project that I already intended on starting and so I have already talked to one person who I am hoping will be the first person I can kind of connect with with this project and so Hopefully I'll be talking to you guys about that next week, but yeah, I'm ending the week feeling very inspired, feeling very motivated, and just feeling very excited to be back, which is what I wanted. So I'm very grateful for that. And I feel like my prayers being answered in terms of, and one of the prayers that I've been praying is that God just helped me to step confidently and boldly into whatever into <clears throat> doing the things that he has placed on my heart and so I really feel like I did walk a little confidently this week and I think that next week will be better and I'm excited to continue documenting and you know just continue to step up this channel a little bit and so thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe I was talking to my mom the other day and she was like um it's a little prideful that you <laughs> She was like, you may not see it this way, but it's a little prideful that you don't tell people to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm like, hmm, you might be right. <laughs> and so I will start saying that more in my videos, but it really will help me out if you guys just like, if you share, if you leave a comment, if you ask me a question in the comments so that I can include an answer in a video that I do, whether it's a vlog or a sit down. And so... Yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. I am really trying to get out of saying that I don't care if my channel grows. I do care. I don't care how big it grows, but I do want it to consistently kind of been moving up and just reach the right people. And so please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>